Take a look at how the centuries old Navalgun jamkhanas are handcrafted by the women artisans of the town. Today, as many as 18 weavers continue to weave the GI tag bearing jamkhanas with motifs ranging from flowers, combinations of several geometrical patterns to the traditional motifs of peacocks and pagade atta, the traditional Indian dice game, against many odds such as lack of toilets, poor maintenance of the weaving centers and absence of government housing and health insurance. The path leading to the Navalgun Jamkhana weaving centers. This is the premises of Gavimat which predates the time of Basavanna, the 12th century philosopher poet saint. The Navalgun Jamkhana weaving center which is established in 1988. This is Reka Gondale a jamkhana weaver with a grandchild the first loom where reka weaves every day is vacant today the loom hence shows just the unbleached off white cotton threads that make for the warp and is tied on to the top beam of the loom next to reka's loom you can see a jamkhana woven bottom up a flower unraveling the third loom is unattended to and the loom next flaunts a jamkhana that's almost finished and showcases a peacock after which the town is named Navalgund Navilugunda the land of the peacocks the muslim women weavers belonging to the sheikh said community traditionally wove the jamkhanas in the gullies of bijapur and prospered during the reign of the adil shahs following the war that broke out between the bijapur sultanate and the vijayanagar empire The Muslim weavers migrated to Navalgund to start their life afresh. This is Parvatawa Katarki at her loom. She shifts the shaft and with the tibni inserts the weft pick into warp. To create the designs, she uses the colored weft threads formed into small butterfly-shaped pools of threads called gulfa for weft interlock weaving. Now Parvatawa beats the weft picks with a panja. The stronger she beats the weft picks, the more durable the jamkhanas will be. At the second weaving center, Akamma Bhojeda spins off white yarn on the charka, while Lakshmawa Yallappa Bhajantri makes bundles of colorful weft into seven ply count. The weft threads are always colorful. Fakirava Krishnappa Matgar beats the weft picks hard with the panja. Her 1.5 by 1.5 feet jamkhana is almost ready. Peacock continues to be one of the most traditional and popular motifs of Navalgun jamkhanas. The weft threads are dyed in Gajendragarh in Gadag district which is 74 kilometers from Navalgun. Before weaving the carpets the weavers have to prepare the warp and set it on the loom make bundles of weft threads Look at Abida Begum Moinuddin Mulla work on a jamkhana with a floral motif If you look closely at the pit of the loom you can see a carpet that is already woven rolled and covered with cloth Here comes Bibi Jan Bade Saab Devaridu Adept at weaving for over decades, she, like the rest of the women artisans, can insert the weft picks effortlessly even as she answers my questions on the intricate weaving process at play. Nagameni Sirod, clad in a bright pink sari, and Parvatawa Katarki work on the 4 by 7 feet char mor pagdi mane jamkhana. The Navalgun jamkhana weavers defying many hurdles continue to weave the gi tag jamkhanas that can brighten up any space where it is unrolled any art or handicraft needs timely and thoughtful intervention beat upkeep of the centers boosting the finances of the artisans so that they can create with gusto tweak and improvise designs every one of us can make a difference in our own distinct and small ways so do your bit begin with appreciating our diverse arts and handicrafts